Lots of people make videos on YouTube about their recording setups, but what is the best video recording setup specifically for online course creators? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how my setup works and how you can create an efficient setup to record your online course videos. If you'd like to see more videos like this one helping you grow your online knowledge business, please click like and subscribe below. Hey everyone, I'm Brian McAnulty, the founder of Heights Platform, the online course creation software that helps you monetize your knowledge and get your students results. All right, so what I wanna talk about here is how my setup works for recording videos and how you can create a similar setup to efficiently record your online course videos. So I recently made another video about how to use OBS and that is the free software that I'm using to record videos like this one here. So if you wanna learn about that software specifically, um, take a look at the description or the end of this video, we'll have a link to that video. But what I'm gonna talk about here is more the hardware and equipment that I'm actually using. So the camera, the microphone, the lighting, and how you can create a setup that's going to be easy for you to use as a creator. Now, the number one thing and the number one point of a difference in what maybe a YouTuber would use versus a course creator is that your main thing as a course creator is not recording videos. Um, you're creating your course, you're marketing your course, you're trying to sell your course, and most likely you also are trying to do the thing that your course is about um, and practice that, whether that's something like, maybe it's a hobby, maybe it is part of your business, but probably your normal day-to-day -day is not recording videos unless you're a YouTuber making a course. So the main problem then is that when you need to sit down and record your videos for your online course, you wanna make sure you have a really easy and efficient setup so you can sit down, press record, and you're ready to go. And the problems with what is a more traditional setup is you have to set up your camera, you have to put it on a tripod, you have to set up lighting, and typically if you don't have a space in your home, in your office, in your apartment where you're doing that, then you have to take up this whole space, set up the lights, set up everything. And maybe it only takes 20 minutes or so to do that, but that 20 minutes or so can be the difference of keeping you motivated enough to actually go forward and get those videos done, especially if it's not something where you're used to recording videos all the time. So the goal here is we wanna create a setup that is already configured for you. It's not taking up extra space in your home. And it's something where you can just sit down, hit record, and you're ready to go. So what I did in my setup is everything is at my computer desk here, sitting in front of my computer and recording right into a camera that is mounted above it. And I'm not using a traditional webcam, I'm actually using a more professional camera, uh, specifically the Sony a6400 is what I like to use. And the way I'm recording that into my computer is with a device called the Elgato CamLink. And what that does is it allows you to plug a more high-end camera directly into your computer and then use that camera essentially as a webcam. And now this is gonna create a couple benefits for you. One, you get a higher quality video than a webcam, but it also saves a lot of the hassle where setting up a traditional camera, you have to worry about battery life, you have to worry about your SD cards, memory cards, transferring it to the computer, and you have to worry, of course, about setting it up, having a, a tripod at certain times when you wanna record or not. So this solves all of that because the camera is plugged directly into the computer. It's gonna to record to the computer's hard drive actually. So you don't worry about memory cards. And then I have it plugged in with an AC adapter so I don't have to worry about charging the battery or anything like that. So I simply have my computer on, I press record, and then it is recording directly to the computer's hard drive. And now I'm gonna mention some other pieces of gear here. Now that's the probably the one main tool as far as the image quality but it's really important to stress here that I'm not suggesting that you have to go out and buy all this stuff. In fact, it's better to even not buy anything. Um, if you don't have any kind of tripod, maybe just get that to start and even just use your smartphone to start out because too many creators find an excuse or a reason why they can't really record just yet. They just need this one more thing. They wanna add this one more thing to their setup. Well, in reality, a modern smartphone is good enough to record your videos. And there are so many successful creators out there recording just with a selfie video on their iPhone or Android phone. And that is really good enough. It's your content that's important. And the goal here is we want to 
if anything, improve the quality of that content, but most importantly, make it so it's easy for you to record that content. So the smartphone that you have is probably the easiest first step. If you wanna go beyond that, then a camera like this is a good one. You can also actually, if you don't wanna invest in a camera yet, a professional camera, you can also use some tools that will allow you to use your smartphone as a webcam. And most likely that's gonna be a higher quality than a separate camera. The disadvantage there is it's a little bit harder maybe to figure out a way to mount that, but there are some uh, mounting kind of smartphone clips that you can also buy on Amazon that will let you mount that right above your computer screen. Um, it's not as permanent of a solution because you're gonna have to take your smartphone off when you wanna use it later, but that can work as well. So that is the overview of the camera. Now I wanna talk about the lighting and the sound. So for lighting, what I use is uh, two LED lights mounted uh, above my desk here by a company called uh, Dasne, and I believe that's how you pronounce it at least. I've used a good amount of lights from this company in the past. I've actually reached out to the company, made some suggestions to them, and uh, they've actually improved their products a little bit based on that, which is great to hear. Um, but I have uh, some of these LED panels from them, I have a ring light from them, and they really work great because the traditional studio kind of video light that you would have for yourself in the past was this big soft box. And you could buy those on Amazon for maybe only $100 or so. But the problem with lighting like this is it's huge. It's gonna take up a big space in your room. So you're probably not gonna be able to leave it up. And you also have the issue that it's gonna be really hot. So these are LED panels. They're really thin and skinny. They're really uh, temperature wise. They're not going to be hot. You can control them with a remote control. And I actually even use them at a lower brightness during the day, uh, even when I'm not recording videos, because I found it's just nice to have that extra light on your desk sometimes. And so these are actually mounted directly to my desk. And I actually have a standing desk here so it can go up and down. And the way that they're mounted, if I wanted to, I could even still have the desk raise up and still record a standing video if I wanted to. But it's all here mounted right onto the desk, just like the camera. So all I have to do is sit down and everything is here. There's no need to, okay, take out the light out of a closet or something like that, or set it up in a different spot in the room. So I would highly recommend a light like this. Elgato also makes a light just like this. Theirs doesn't have a physical remote control, or I don't know if it has a remote control from the back, but it's very similar to the Dasne uh, lights here, um, but it is a little bit more expensive. But if you're getting things like the Elgato Cam Link, then um, maybe you wanna take a look at Elgato's lighting solution too, is a pretty good option. And the important thing about lights here is if you have the lights or don't have the lights, you may not need lights right away. You wanna just make sure that you're positioned in a good spot in your room for recording. So ideally, if you have a window in your room, the window is going to be facing towards you rather than behind you. If the window's behind you, it's gonna blow out the image and it's gonna make you harder to see. The camera's not gonna be able to expose correctly for that. So ideally, the window's gonna be on the opposite side of you uh, rather than behind you. And you just wanna try to be in a well-lit room that is also a quiet room. So now this is gonna bring me to sound. Um, as long as you have decent video quality, the difference that you can make for the overall like best improvement in quality is actually sound. So sound is really important. And what if you have a smartphone that you're happy with the video quality from that already, what you might wanna actually do is just buy a microphone for $30 or so off Amazon. That could be like a clip-on uh, lavalier mic that you could use. Or again, if you want to record at your computer directly, then something like the uh, Blue Yeti microphone that I have here. Um, this is attached to a, a mounted uh, microphone arm that can uh, adjust up and down here. And uh, I think this whole package is about $200. And what's nice about this is a traditional kind of studio microphone that you might see a podcaster use or something like that. You can't just plug that into your computer. You need to buy an audio interface for it. And the problem with that is you have all these extra pieces. You have to figure out how that works. You have to set it all up correctly. The blue microphone is a USB microphone. So that plugs right into your computer. So it's really easy to use. You just plug that into your computer and set that as your computer's mic. So there is no extra software or hardware required for attaching the microphone to the computer, basically.
essentially my setup here, even though it does have some more complicated or high-end equipment, the camera is essentially set up as the computer's webcam, and then the microphone is essentially set up as the computer's microphone. And then again, what I said that I'm recording this into specifically is the free software called OBS. We have the separate video about if you wanna learn how to use that specifically. What's really nice there is I just sit down, I click record, and then it's recording everything right to my computer's hard drive. And there is one more tool that is not necessary, but nice to have to make this whole recording process easier. And that is the Elgato Stream Deck. So for an online course creator, um, there's a few different options. They have a mini, a regular, and then a Excel version of this Stream Deck. And personally, I think for course creators, the mini version is fine. The larger versions have all these buttons that can be more useful for like a live streamer when you wanna trigger different things. But what this Stream Deck is doing is it's essentially providing six mini screens that are shortcut keys that you can set up to do something for your computer. In this case, triggering something inside OBS. So what I use these for is triggering things like the start and stop of the recording, triggering the option to switch my camera from just a regular camera looking at me here to if I wanted to have a secondary camera plugged in, then I can switch it to that with just pressing a button. I can switch it to show a screen recording and then switch back to the main camera here. And basically that lets you control everything right when you're recording live. So you don't have to say, okay, I'm gonna record and then I'm gonna go and edit everything afterwards. So I'll cover that more in my how to use OBS video, but that is one of the pieces that ties everything together. So we've got our camera, we've got our lighting, and we've got our audio. And that is really the main pieces that you need as an online course creator. But the main goal here is to create an efficient setup for yourself because you wanna be able to sit down and record your videos easily. You don't wanna to have to have all this complicated equipment where you bought all these different pieces to try to make a higher quality video, but then it's so hard to set up that you never actually get around to making your videos. So to sum up, maybe what you already have is okay with your smartphone. If you wanna buy anything, maybe a simple tripod, desk mount, or a cheap clip-on lavalier mic from Amazon is all you need. If you want to have a little bit more advanced setup and go with something like what I have set up here, then you're looking at a device like the Sony a6400, which works great with the Elgato Camlink 4K, um, some LED lights specifically, uh, LED panels are gonna be better for you than a big softbox that's bulky and gets in your way. Ideally, this all can clip to your desk, um, having a good microphone at your desk for yourself. Um, you wanna make sure it's close enough to your uh, face when you're talking so you're not capturing too much room noise. And then if you wanna go the extra step, then you could have some gadgets like the Agata Stream Deck to help you record a little bit easier, but things like that aren't really completely necessary. And then you have a setup that's going to accomplish the goal to allow you to sit down, hit record, make the videos that are right on your computer. And hopefully if you go through the process I explained for using OBS, then you barely have to do any editing to them as well. Again, I'm gonna put the links to all the equipment that I use down below in the description. And if you have any questions about using any of this equipment or how it works, please leave a comment below and I will be happy to help you out. So I hope this video was helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this one helping you grow your online knowledge business, again, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you wanna learn about using OBS, uh, as I mentioned, I'll link to that right here.